Welcome back to SnowRunner, y'all, and in this video, we're going to be talking about a recent announcement from the developers of some new DLC coming in the Year 3 Pass, and that includes Kenworth and Mac being included in Year 3 of the game's DLC. Now, this is wonderful, it's amazing news, and I'm always glad to see new trucks making their way and new brands making their way into the game, although, interestingly enough, as we've talked about recently on this channel, there have been some people that have even in the comments of these official developer announcements, whether it be on Facebook, on Twitter, on, you know, the developer's official forums, there's been people saying, why are you talking about this when you haven't fixed my co-op yet? And I think that that really goes to show that there are, yes, people excited for new content in the game, but there are also people that feel so badly burned by the fact that their co-op on, say, Xbox or PlayStation or whatever the system may be, remains non-functional. And that's not to say that the co-op on all platforms or even, you know, Xbox or PlayStation or, or whatever the case may be, that's not to say that everyone has non-functional multiplayer. There are still, you know, decent amounts of people in the community that can still use the game's co-op function no problem at all. However, it's very odd because it seems to flip-flop when one update comes out versus another update comes out. It's like one update will release and co-op will work on Xbox but not PlayStation. And then the next update will come out and co-op will work on PlayStation and not Xbox, and then the next update will come out and Xbox and PlayStation will work, but PC will be broken. So it's always this weird flip-flop thing back and forth, and it seems oddly rare that the game works as intended on all platforms at the same time. But circling back around to the topic of this video being officially licensed trucks from Kenworth and Mac, I'm really hoping, and this was actually pointed out by some comments that I saw in the community as well, um, I'm really hoping that these trucks come with a full set of equipable tires. Now, granted, I know that there's going to be people out there that are going to say, well, why do you care about what vanilla tire options there are? Because modders are going to tweak these trucks and add other tires anyway. And while that is true, yes, there will be tweaked versions of these trucks. There are some people that may not have the ability to use mods, or maybe, you know, maybe their system doesn't have the space for them, or maybe it's already filled up with other mods, or whatever the case may be, they might not be able to use the modded versions of the trucks, and so they may rely on the vanilla in-game versions, and we have historically seen some of the trucks from some brands, I'm not going to name which ones, but y'all will get what I'm talking about here, um, we've historically seen some trucks get hampered by a smaller selection of tires than other trucks from other manufacturers, if you catch my drift, if you get what I'm saying. And the reason I bring that up is because I find that some trucks that are even trucks that are equipped with, you know, all-wheel drive and diff lock from the factory are then nerfed by a crappy selection of tires. And if you're gonna have these tires in the game, why not make them available to every well, not every truck necessarily, but if the truck is designed to go off-road, if it's got all-wheel drive, if it's got diff lock, why not give it a full selection of tires? Like, there are some trucks in the game that have, you know, let's say all-wheel drive and diff lock, but only can select up to an all-terrain tire. When some trucks from, let's say, another region uh, have a full selection of all-terrain, off-road, mud tires, like the whole list, you name it. They can run just about whatever they want. But these other trucks from this other region are, for whatever reason, not allowed. And I'm like, hmm... But little details like that aside, I am genuinely excited that we are going to be seeing officially licensed trucks from Mac and Kenworth in SnowRunner. Because for those that are fans of American trucks, especially classic American semi-trucks, I mean, workhorse trucks, really, Mac and Kenworth are some of the most recognizable brands, not only in the U.S., but in the world. I mean, across the globe, those are two genuinely recognizable brands in the heavy-duty truck space, and I really 
really think that they're going to fit into SnowRunner no problem at all. I mean, we've even seen lots of mods that have brought trucks from Kenworth and Mac into SnowRunner. I mean, and even with the Mac Defense dump truck being so heavily featured in the game, it was actually used by Mac to represent their brand at a trade show where they had a booth that you could play SnowRunner using a modded Mac Defense. That is absolutely insane. And if you weren't aware of that before, that is an actual fact. I mean, that mod was essentially endorsed by both Mac themselves and the developers of SnowRunner. How freaking cool is that? But I also want to hear from y'all in the comments down below. Now that we've seen Mac and Kenworth get confirmed for the year three of DLC, what models from Mac and Kenworth would y'all like to see? Now, when they confirm manufacturers like this, it leaves the door open to the fact that we could see multiple different models, multiple different types of trucks, multiple different categories. You know, are, are you hoping to see massive twin steer hauling behemoths? Are you hoping to see more, you know, uh, kind of semi-tractor focused vehicles? Are you looking to see, like, oil field trucks? What are you looking to see from these brands? Are you looking to see dump trucks? Are you looking to see, literally, let me know in that comment section down below so we can get a whole thread going of what trucks y'all would like to see from these brands because that way we can kind of get a little bit of a handle on what the community is most excited about. And I really love doing these little experiments because they really do bring out not only the things that you expect, but also the things that you don't expect. And that's why they're so much fun to do. Now to circle back around to the co-op issues, the developers have stated that with the release of this upcoming DLC, they are going to also be releasing a patch that will hopefully address most, if not all, of these issues that have been arising lately with co-op, because again, co-op is one of the most important functions of this game for a lot of people and a lot of people in its user base. And I've talked about this on several other videos recently where, you know, a lot of people have looked at these update announcements and been like, yeah, that's cool but fix my co-op or why are you focusing on that when you know that the co-op doesn't work or you know basically why this when the co-op isn't fixed yet or why this when the co-op isn't fixed yet and to be honest like on one hand I get where the people are coming from because they're frustrated they want to use the co-op but on the other hand you know from the standpoint of the developers I'm sure that they have people that are dedicating time to try to fix these things but at the same time SnowRunner is not a perfect game and there are aspects of it that are tricky and you know these developers could be working around the clock to fix these issues and you know they might not be able to fix them immediately they might not be able to fix them as quickly as some of us would like and I understand that that can be really really hard and so you know you get into this weird back and forth situation where the developers are like hey we're trying to work on fixing the game while also trying to keep people satisfied with new content and you know because you've got people on the other end where the people whose co-op works are like cool we're like cool, my co-op works, but where's my new content? Whereas you've got people whose co-op doesn't work that are like, hey, my co-op doesn't work. Why are you working on new content? And so it's this weird, like, push-pull situation that I think the developers find themselves in that developers of any game can end up finding themselves in because you've got one part of the community that wants this and another part of the community that wants this and another part of the community that's like, why are you doing any of this? You should be focusing on this instead. And so it gets into this really weird, murky territory where you're trying to make everybody happy. And I know from personal experience that that's extremely difficult no matter what you're trying to do. And I've even seen some people in the community and some people sort of in the comment section of various, you know, SnowRunner channels saying things like, well, instead of a year three pass, they should have announced a new game. And that's a very interesting angle to take. It really is because, you know, some people are saying that, well, SnowRunner has sort of uh, like run its course as it were, and it's time for the series to move on. It's time for the series to move into a new game. But ever since they announced the year three pass, I've kind of noticed that the the community has been a little bit more split on a lot of things. There have been some people that have been like, you know, yeah, that's cool, 
but I'm done with this game, I want to play something else, and there have been others that have been like, oh, wow, thank goodness they announced another year three pass, I don't really play much else, so I'm really glad that they announced that. And so I think, again, it's one of those weird territories where it's really hard to make everybody happy, but while I think it would definitely be nice to see another installment in this series, it is gonna be really interesting to see where they take the game with the year three pass. Now, I'm I'm pretty sure, at least it seems to me, this is all speculation, but it seems to me like the year three pass will probably be the last one, and we will probably see the announcement of a new installment in the series after that. But again, I'm just, you know, I'm just speculating on that, so we'll have to wait and see. But if y'all enjoyed this video, let me know any thoughts and opinions that you may have in that comment section down below, and if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button to turn those notifications on, and I will see y'all next time. Talk to y'all later.